I was in the room with a very conservative CMO and she was really drilling me. She was like, but what's the ROI of social media? And I'm giving her my best stuff. For example, if you want some best stuff, go look at what your engagement rate is on your Facebook page. You have a certain amount of fans and then you have a post, go look at the number. Is it .01, is it .02? It doesn't matter how many fans and Twitter followers you have, it's how many of them are gonna buy something and give a fuck. So she's drilling me and I'm giving her some really good metrics at least for a 2011 world and she's pushing and I know why. She works in a conservative company and the more conservative she comes across the more likely she'll be the CEO. I get it, I'm fine. But she's pushing and pushing and finally I look at her and I go, she's like, but Gary, what's the ROI? And I'm like, da, da, da. She's like, but what's the real ROI of social media? And I'm doing my normal thing like, can you give me the ROI of television and print? Because I love that you spend a shitload of money on Vogue and you're buying the subscription, but can you guarantee me that somebody's looking at the ad on page 139? Because you can't. And I'm giving her everything I've got and she's still punching me directly in the throat. So I had to pull it out. She goes, what's the ROI of social media? What's the ROI of social media? So I look at her and go, What's the ROI of your mother? She said, excuse me. I said, uh oh. I said, I have no interest in making a mother joke and I'm not making fun of you. But let me explain one thing to you. The ROI of my mother is everything. The reason I'm going to buy a multi-billion dollar sports franchise is because of my mother. My mother, the way she parented me, which oh by the way is perfectly, is the reason I have the ability, the confidence, and the absolute wherewithal to execute the businesses that I'm building. However, my friends at Inc. 500, I cannot come to you with slides and put them on those screens and say, over here, click, in sixth grade when I got a mullet, you know, and my mom said I was gorgeous and beautiful and I could do anything, well that was building self-esteem and so what I did with that on the next slide is, you'll see here, I sold a couple more cases of wine in 1994 because of that self-esteem which led to this and now, I can't show you. I can't show you in data the ROI of my mother, but I promise you, it's all of it. The whole kit and caboodle. Social's gonna prove it, because social has way better metrics than traditional. Some asshole stood at the top of a building with a clicker and counted how many cars drove by a billboard, and that's the metrics we're using. Do you know that people do little fucking Scantron-like cards to tell Nielsen's what shows they watched? Are you fucking kidding me? However, thank you for that one clap, that meant a lot. However, <laughs> however, we keep poking holes in social. You know why? I know the size of your company is similar to what I'm used to. You're busy, you're doing a lot of stuff and you need to grow, I get it. But please, audit yourself. Figure out what you're doing. When people always talk to me and say, but how do you scale this? I say you take all the money you're spending on dumb shit and you put it into humans.